Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Chris ICT and TV, and I am Chris. Today, I'll be going to discuss to you on the binary operations and how to solve different binary operations from binary addition, binary subtraction, binary multiplication, binary division. This is a very uh, basic uh, to those students who will undergo ICT courses, and this is just on how to, to let them know on how to use zero and one as the digits in binary because we talk about binary there's two digits and that's two digits are zero and one and that's very important for them to know how to solve this and i hope you find time listening and watching to this uh, video uh, but before anything else please do not forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for more updates and shout out to violet rose casinillo my student and her nothing up taking up ict course in cebu city i hope you will also uh, enjoy watching and learning this so this time i'll be going to show to you the okay so we have it here already so i am using my uh, the google jamboard and if you want to know about google jamboard uh, i'll just have to post the description below on the previous blog that i have in the google jamboard so this time welcome to chris ICT and tv and that's this have it on the binary operations how to make this binary operation so we will start with the binary addition in binary addition since we talk about addition you have to use the plus so we have to make it sure that we have it here we have addition here so this is now addition so we have okay so we have to make it clearer so it will be visible everyone okay so we have it here addition so we have here zero zero plus zero is zero zero plus one is one one plus zero is one and one plus one is zero carry one how are we going to to make sure that these uh, digits will be used in solving binary addition so i have here in my pro my okay problem here so we have to compute it here i have here the given the problem number one this is the problem number one so how are we going to solve this is very easy so we have to start from this part now that is the right side so we have here zero plus one that's one one plus one that's since zero carry one might be that you're going to ask why why we have one plus one zero plus zero carry one please do not forget that we have it here zero carry one and to specifically, to specifically identify 1 plus 1, that's equivalent to 10. And when you convert 10 to um, decimal, we have the answer is 2. That's why 1 plus 1 is 2, that's 2 is 10 in binary. So we have it here. 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 1, that's still 0. Carry 1. 1 plus 0 plus 0, we have 1. And 1 plus 1 is 0. This you don't have to carry, you have to put it here 1. So the answer now is 101001 and that's checked. Congratulations. So this time you will now have to proceed to another example with a decimal point. Especially when we have addition, uh, we have to make sure that the decimal places are intact to its place. So we have it here 1 plus 1, 0. Carry 1, 1 plus 0 plus 1, that's still 0. Carry 1. 1 plus 0 plus 1, you still have 0, carry 1. 1 plus 0 plus 0, they have 1. 1 plus 0 is 0, carry 1. 1 plus 0 plus 0, we have 1. 1 plus 0 is 1, and 1 plus 1 is 0, 10. And we have it here, check. So we have 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1 point zero zero zero. So we are done with the two examples, but I have provided three exa four examples in addition. So we have it here. So since you don't have any value here, that's specifically automatically zero and zero. But we have to answer directly. Bring down one, bring down one. Zero plus zero, zero. Zero plus one, you have one. Do not forget the decimal point here. Zero plus zero is zero. Well, 0 plus 1 is 1, and 1 plus 1 is 0, carry 1. Okay, so we have it here. Another is, but since we don't have, you don't see any value here, you have to directly put it here. 1, 
and 0. 1 plus 1, that's 0, carry 1. Now, if you see three numbers here, the, the, uh, 1 plus 1 is 10, plus 1 is 11, so we have to put it here, 1, carry 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is still, one, bring down 1, carry 1. 1 plus 0 plus 1, we have 10, carry 1. 1 plus, zero, one, plus 1 plus 1, we have 1 and 1. So we have it, the final answer, 1101.1001. 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. And that's how we get in solving binary addition. Okay, now let's proceed to binary subtraction and how to compute binary subtraction still we have to see to it that we are still using this uh, minus sign subtraction we have 0 minus 0 0 1 minus 1 0 1 minus 0 1 and 0 minus 1 is 1 borrow 1 so how are we going to use this so we have to proceed I provided three examples here. So 1 minus 0 is 1. It's very easy. 0 minus 1, bring down 1. Borrow. So 1 will become 0. 0 minus 0, 0. 0 minus 0, 0. 1 minus 1, 0. Or you could actually answer 11. And that is acceptable. Let's check. There. Number 2, 1 minus 0, 1. 0 minus 1, bring down 1. And you have to put, do not forget the decimal point. The 1 will become 0. We have to borrow. 0 minus 0 is 0. 1 minus 1 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. And 1, bring down 1. And we have the correct answer. All right. Now let's proceed here. Number three example, 0 minus 0, 0. 1 minus 1, 0. Decimal places. 1 minus 1, 0. Still, 0 minus 0, 0. 1 minus, one, uh, 1 minus 0, 1. 1 minus 1, 0. 1 minus 1, 0. That's check. Or you could actually answer 100. That's check. Now, let's proceed to binary multiplication so how to solve binary multiplication still 0 times 0 0 1 times 0 0 0 times 1 0 and 1 times 1 1 and we will apply it here in the next example so we have it here 0 times 0 still in the decimal places we have to follow the decimal places in the normal multiplication process we have to move count the number of decimal places so we have 0 times 0 0 1 times 0 0 what times zero? Zero. One times zero? Zero. Zero times one? Zero. One times one? One. One times one? One. One times one? One. So we have to add. Same with the multiplication process. Zero. We have zero. Zero plus one? One. Zero plus one? One. Bring down one. How many decimal places? One, two, three. One, two, three. Three. So we have the answer is here, and that is check. A number. That's a number two. One times one, one. One times one, one. One times zero times one, zero. Zero times one, zero. One times one, one. We have still have one times one, one. One times one, one. So we have. 0 times 1, 0. 0 times 1, 0. 1 times 1, 1. Still, we have 1 times 0, 0. 1 times 0, 0. 0 times 0, 0. 0 and 0. The last uh, la line, 1 times 1, 1. 1 times 1, 1. 0 times 0, 0. 0 times 1, 0. 1 times 1, 1. Okay, so we have to, have to add. 1, bring down 1. 1 plus 1, 0, carry 1. 1 plus 0, 1. 1 plus 1, 10. You have to zero, bring down 0, carry 1. 1 plus 0, plus 0, plus 0, 1. 1 plus 1, we have, bring down 0, carry 1. 
and we have three ones here so we have the answer is 11 so 1 plus 1 plus 0 plus 0 that's 10 carry so we have 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1 bring down 1 how many places 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 and we have the correct answer okay so we have another example here so we have 0 times 0 0 1 times 0 0 0 times 0 0 and 0 0 times 1 0 1 times 1 1 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 0 0 1 1 1 1 and we get the correct answer already now still the same here 0 1 times 0 0 1 times 0 0 0 times 0 0 times 0 1 times 0 0 times 1 0 1 times 1 1 1 times 1 1 0 0 0 and 1 the last 0 times 1 0 1 times 1 1 1 times 1 1 0 times 1 0 0 times 1 0 1 times 1 1 that's addition we have 0 0 0 plus 1 plus 0 1 1 plus 0 plus 1 plus 1 10 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus 1 that's 10 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 1 Bring down 1, bring down 1. How many places? 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, that's it. So we already have in a binary multiplication. That's very easy. And the last is we have this, the binary division. We have 0 divided by 0, 0. 1 divided by 1 is 1. Now let's solve this using this. So we have since you already see two num two digits here so you have to go directly two digits here 10 divided by 10 that's one one by one times 10 10 you have to follow the same process in the addition and we can get it so we have zero minus zero so no need to put that's x already bring down one one divided by 10 the answer is zero so you have to put zero 1 1 minus 0 we have 1 bring down 1 11 we have it here that is 1 1 times 10 10 remainder is the 1 and we get the correct answer how about this so we have three digits here so we have three digits here 101 divided by 100 we have 1 the answer is 100 so we have minus, so 1 minus 0, 1. We don't need this because that's already 0. Bring down 1. 11 divided by 100, that's 0. 0 times 100 is 0. So 1 minus 0, 1. Bring down 1. Bring down 0. 110 divided by 100, we have 1. 1 times 100, we have 100. So we have a remainder of 10. And that is correct. Now let's have this. We have the last number for the binary division example. So we have one. So we have three digits here. So we have to use three digits here. So we have one. One, divided, one times 110 is 110. One minus zero. It's 1. So you don't need to solve that. Bring down 1. How about this? 11 divided by 110 is 0. 0 times 110 is 0. We have 1. 1. Bring down 1. 111 divided by 110. And we have 1. 1 times 110 is 110. 1 minus 0 is 1. No need to answer that. Bring down 0. 0. So we have 0. So we have 0 here. So we have 0. 
1 bring down 1 so we have to put it here 0 so we have I guess we have to continue it here with 101 so we have to put decimal here so we have 101 by 110 cannot be so we have to answer 0 0 0 0 0 we have 1 0 1 bring down 1 so we have 1 1011 divided by 110 is 1 and we have the answer here 110 1 minus 0 1 1 minus 1 0 0 minus 1 is 1 cancel you can 0 you add 0 on the last so th this divided by this we have 1 1 you have 110 0 minus 0, 0. 1 minus 1, 0. And 0 minus 1 cannot be. So 1, 0. And we have this remainder 100. And we have the final answer here. So, that's it. Thank you so much uh, for listening. Hope you enjoy. I hope you learn a lot of things in solving binary operations from addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. And that could be a little help for you to so that you would be pressure in answering that uh, basic uh, tutorial in solving binary operation. Please do not forget to subscribe on my official U, uh, YouTube channel, that's Chris ICT Ed TV. And I am using a Google Jamboard a while ago. I just have to put the description below. Uh, for more updates and please do not forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for, for para updated ka sa lahat ng mga tutorial videos na gagawin ko so thank you so much for listening have a good day this is Christian Osabia bye bye